I was born Muslim, and my generation, as long as anybody could remember, were Muslim. I was born in a Muslim country, raised in the Muslim family, the one that really practiced. If the Ramadan is one month, my mother would do it 40 days, and uh, they practice everything. I remember the first time I fast, I was five years old. So they would all wake up early in the morning, four o'clock, to do the prayer, everything. Allah was a, a powerful uh, thing that created everything and is watching me, whatever I do, wherever I do, and one day is going to be the judgment day. I have to stand in front of him and answer everything I have done. And he's going to count the goodness I have done and the evil thing I have done, and I'm, I will be punished by it. So I was raised very good Muslim and practice it in the school everywhere. Very, very strong believer in Islam that I would die. I would go because in my country, the, when war started, I was very young, but I put my name as a volunteer to go there in the first line even <laughs> if they would let me. And that much I was believe in belief system that that was the only truth and I really would kill and would die for that faith. I was the oldest in the family, always been a leader, very uh, bold and brave and very um, persistence on what I believed. I respected what I believed and that's why that pushed me forward in the Islamic faith that I I reached the point that it was a high level in that faith that I could see things are happening and they say this is Islam. But then when I got the chance to get into the society and get to know the Islam, it didn't match my heart and the things I believed. So I left my country. I left for so many reasons and I start searching. I start searching that then who is the, who is all these things about? I love God because I was born and raised in loving Him. But when I saw what they are presenting is my faith, it didn't match me. Like I could not believe my God would say kill each other or do all those unjust things. I said this can't be. I will not worship a God like this. I would see my friends, my best friends, my close friends were killed just because they were against. They did not accept this religion. A different belief. They were killed 15 years, 14 years old. They were mysteriously killed. And I said if this is what I believe, no. And then I became atheist because people telling me, oh, all those people believe in God because they need something to hang on. Because I thought maybe they are right because I do all those things. I go to all these holy places and I don't feel nothing. I still have the loneliness inside of me and those questions that I can't find any answers. The hunger and the thirst that none of them satisfy me. And probably they're right. Probably it's me who personally is weak and I'm looking for something to hang on or just blame or mm, mm, see the cause of all this misery, whatever. But then again, I couldn't uh, continue to be that. And then there was a time then I just came to the end of it and I said, you know, God, I really am tired, so I'm going to leave everything alone. I left everything alone and I was really miserable. And one of those rainy days that circumstances really push you, I was just in the street walking and then very sad, going to the gas station. I saw this guy, he was a, a street guy, you know, drug addict. And uh, they usually come from, I started talking to him. And then he told me, do you like to dance? I said, sure, I love to dance. And then he told me, you see that church? I said, is that the church? He said, yeah, that's a church. I said, it doesn't look like a church. He said, yeah, it's a church and they dance all the time. So I went in and that was a born again church. Nobody ever introduced that. Like I was uh, about 12 years searching. No one ever mentioned anything. 
saw this guy, and then I went there, and everybody, it was awesome worship. There is no statue, there was no nothing. It's, it's like a meeting room, and everybody's just dancing and singing, and the pastor came up, no uniform, not none of all those different languages, no candle, and it was awesome. It was awesome, and I felt something, because I love dancing. I started dancing and singing, and I felt something. Then I went home, and I was not going to go back, like, thinking about what is this new thing. It's a new thing. But the pastor announced they have an evening Wednesday, just a prayer thing for healing or whatever. So Wednesday, I just start thinking, should I go? I should not go. Or should I go? And something is stopping me. And I just said, no, I'm going to go see what is in the evening Wednesday. Because all I know is Sunday services, right? First time, church on evening Wednesday. So that was the second time at uh, about a week later. I just went on my knees and I cried so hard. I said, if you were there, like, what is the truth? I mean, what is the truth? I'm so tired. It's been like all my life up to now and I don't know what is it. And then I got transformed. It, it was something supernatural, like I couldn't see what's going around me. And I just remember I was pulling my hair, crying, screaming. It was shaking. It was inside my body. It was my blood moving fast and fire in me. It was just, I was seeing things, supernatural. It's so real. I mean, so true. And then I, that was that when I saw uh, the Lord and He said, I'm the only truth. I'm the only truth. This is the only truth. When I opened my eyes, I was just like fainted on the floor and two ladies holding me and they were telling me, you're not crazy, we saw him, we, we felt him. You're not crazy, we felt him. They were shaking, they were worshiping and they were just holding me. and. God mercy covered me that evening. I was in shock for a week myself. What happened? Like, where did I go? What was that? And then after that, life never been the same. I got so heavy attacks. It took two years for me to be baptized in the water. And, but I never feel lonely. I'm never alone, never like inside of me. I always know Holy Spirit is there, I always, it's, it's such a beautiful security I have now. I'm not mentioning that all Jesus Lord bought all my sins, that's a great <laughs> gift, I mean, <laughs> that's only, it's enough for me to have joy all day and night and dance and walk and dance and oh God, He shed His blood for me and for my sins. There was time in my life that I would go stand in front of a mirror and I would say, I saw him, I'm not gonna go back. I saw him with my eyes. No matter what happens, I'm not gonna go back. When you don't have the Christ, you are walking in darkness without knowing it because when you are in darkness, you get used to it after a while. When you open your eyes, you can see things actually, but you are in darkness. And uh, you never know you are in darkness. And when you receive Jesus, all of a the sudden there is a light. It's a freedom. It's so free of everything. You, you, if you're a real Christian, there is nothing that you can be worried about. That's the biggest change in my life. I don't have any worriness. I cannot be worried about anything. I don't have any anxious. I, it's so many, so many black spots are like they they become bright for you that so many questions they have answers what's the purpose of being on this earth and uh, why why my life is like that why my parents are this why I am this color why I was born in this point of country everything has an answer then you will find all the answer that God has given us which is total truth when you don't have Jesus, you can't forgive people and this bitterness grows in you. And it's so hard. No, I don't want to forgive that person. He made my life miserable. But Jesus the Lord says, if you don't, how, how could Father forgive you? Oh no, I want Father forgive me. Out of obedience, when I did it, God gave me the strength and then filled it, the empty place with love. It's, it's, 
It's really beautiful. I find this amazing thing in, in this faith that if you could love everybody, I mean, people do bad to you, they are always hurting. If you look at them like they are bleeding because they have wounds, and you just treat them with love and forgive them and just be kind to them, that changes them and also it's a beaut it makes the whole society different and it totally changed the life, totally changed your lifestyle, changed your view of universe, uh, everything makes sense and for me that, that is really great.